Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this reading is for any Capricorn placement you want to check in on, including any planet or astrological house that may be in the sign, whatever it is, you're welcome here. Let's go ahead and get right into the reading. If I can pick up that little card at the bottom. All right, spiritual team, what is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Capricorns? What is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Capricorns? Okay, I hear a truck. Maybe it's a trash truck. No, okay, let's see. We have lemon cleansing. Okay, I like that. <clears throat> and at the bottom of the deck, we have broccoli leadership okay so it seems like this energy kind of came up different cards um but this energy came up for someone else i can't remember who it was um but what i'm getting it's like we're kind of cleaning house we're getting rid of things um to make way for possibly some op uh, leadership opportunities for some of you it feels like um this could be a literal cleansing of your home but I feel like this is more of like an internal emotional spiritual kind of cleansing for you guys um, so you guys can do what it is you guys need to do and take charge all right let's get into the tarot and see what you guys need to know spiritual team what messages do you have for my Capricorns for the next seven days what messages do you have for my Capricorns for the next seven days let's see Come here. Dang. Come on in. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Four of Wands reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. World reversed. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups reversed. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. So Six of Cups reversed. King of Pentacles. The Emperor. Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, so Mercury retrograde is right around the corner, and I have to say that because the Six of Cups is here <clears throat> in the reverse. Um, so there could be, for you, it could be dwelling on some past situations or past people. Um, this could also be past, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat feels... Um, a little weird. Anyways, um, this could be a past situation or past person coming back around as well. We have three people here. We have the King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Emperor card. I'm not saying you're going to have three exes come back or three friends come back or whatever the case is, um, but there is potential for, you know, past opportunities or past connections to come back around in some way, or at, like, at least you are reflecting on them. Um, you may be reflecting on situations where you were in charge, where you were the leader, hence the emperor being here. It could also be some type of health-related, business-related, work-related situations. And I feel like they're all things that went well for you guys. So I'm not seeing anything particularly negative. Again, these could be people. These could be aspects of yourselves. They could be situations that you were involved in before. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, because the leadership is, the leadership card is here and the emperor is here with a king of pentacles, this is probably an opportunity coming that you don't see coming yet, um, for you to step up and be a leader, um, potentially own your own business, be an entrepreneur, um, take on a management position, whatever the case is, it feels like it is on its way with the knight of pentacles. It may take a little longer you know, than you expect, or it's probably going to be something that just develops slowly over time, but it feels like you guys are on your way to being this type of energy. That's what it feels like to me, okay? So I don't know if you are, <clears throat> I don't know if you're cleaning, like I said earlier, if you're cleaning your emotional and spiritual, um, traumas and you know past desires and things up a little bit um just be careful about not dwelling in it too much because i feel like there's a lot of new things coming your way very very soon some really great opportunities personally 
That's what I'm seeing. Let's take a look at these cards up here. As soon as I saw the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I knew that you guys may not have really been taking care of yourselves very well health-wise. Okay, again, that doesn't just have to be your physical body. It could be your mental state, your spiritual state, um, whatever the case is, emotional state, I should say as well. Um, for some of you, it feels like you have a lot on your plate <clears throat> or you're trying to make a couple of things, multiple things happen um, all at one time and it's just not conducive to what you have going on right now. Maybe you guys are feeling a little tired or maybe you guys are feeling a little um, emotionally unstable, but there is some sort of foundation here that's not really conducive to you juggling multiple things at the same time. So I feel like for a lot of you, you may be letting go of some of this as well, just until you at least have some time to kind of take care of yourselves a little bit more. Clear the plate up a little bit here. Um, what else? The world card in reverse. Let's look at that one. So with the world card, I get a couple things. For some of you, someone could be coming to see you. <clears throat> like they could be traveling to see you. And when I say travel, I mean long distance travel, like something that requires a train, a plane, or a boat, not just a car ride. I mean, it could be a car ride, but I get this is more of like an airplane situation. Okay, whether that's overseas or across the country, whatever the case may be. It feels like some somewhat, some of you are coming or having somebody come visit you, okay, from far away. Um, I don't know if it's to kind of help you get through whatever it is that you've been going through, because some of you guys may just be in need of some help or, you know, lifting up. And so someone could kind of feel that intuitively and may try and come see you. Or you may just be like, hey, you know, I'm just not really feeling that great and you're like, oh, why don't I come out and, and help you or whatever the case is. Um, but for others of you, <clears throat> excuse me again, I'm so sorry. Um, the world card I'm getting is some sort of cycle that is not quite ready to be completed yet. Again, with Mercury retrograde around the corner, plans, goals, whatever can get kind of delayed. Um, so that's probably a big part of the world card being here in reverse. But um, yeah, for some of you, it feels like over the next week and in the next couple of weeks during Mercury retrograde, there could be something that is going to have like a little bit of an issue or a hang up that you're going to have to go back and sort out before you can completely move forward and close it out and complete it. Um, so just something to be aware of, something to keep in mind, okay? That's what I'm seeing with the tarot. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Oracle deck section of the reading. Now we do have a full moon in Pisces on the 10th. So I wanted to pull some cards from the Moonology deck for you guys. Um, spiritual team, what additional messages do you have for my Capricorns for the next seven days? What additional messages do you have for my Capricorns for the next seven days? Okay, we have new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Interesting. So, <laughs> you know, the six of cups reversed energy could have you guys thinking about past relationships, but all those energies I saw below could be new people coming in. Uh, you could have some really strong options. Um, a king, a knight, and an emperor. I mean, that's, that's pretty intense. Um, off the bat, I would say if you guys are being represented by the Queen of Pentacles, I would probably suggest the King of Pentacles, um, just because they're more mature, they're more established, um, like you, and I think it would be a better fit for you. I think the Knight might be a little young. I think they have a lot of potential, and it seems like they're serious, but I don't know if they're quite at your level or where you are, and if you guys would have the patience for someone to kind of work up to where you are in terms of experience whatever. The emperor could be cool as well, but I don't know if that's necessarily the best fit for you guys. Again, I'm not here to tell you who and what to do, but, um, you know, just, you know, just pay extra, extra attention to, you know, all the nuances and difference of new people entering your life. Anyways, let's get to the bottom of the deck. We have the new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. And that's why I feel like the cleansing and making sure that you are, you know, completely 
uh, healed isn't necessarily the word I want to use, but at least stable, right? So feeling stable can help you feel more confident and help you kind of push forward in terms of what it is you need to get done. Okay, let's get into the tea leaf oracle. Now keep in mind Capricorns, whatever comes up from this deck could be related, could be completely unrelated to what we've been talking about. It's just additional things you need to know for the next seven days. All right, spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Capricorns for the next seven days? What final messages do you have for my Capricorns for the next seven days? This deck has been really quiet for my readings so far. It's like they're not jumping like they usually do. All right, spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Capricorns <clears throat> for the next seven days? That's way too many. Let's try that again. Sheesh. That's way too many. All right, let's try again. Spiritual team, what final messages? Oh, there's one that flipped over over here. Okay. Um, what final messages do you have for my Capricorns for the next seven days? What final messages do you have for my Capricorns for the next seven days? Anything? Nothing? Something? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be here all day if I keep doing this, spiritual team. All right. Spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Capricorns? Capricorns, if I don't get anything to flip over here, I'm just going to pick from the top of the deck and move on. Let's give them one more chance. All right, spiritual team, what final, what final messages do you have? Okay, let's just go with what's on top. Okay, we have the rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Okay, keep an eye out for this type of energy. I don't feel like it's you. Could be, but um, I don't feel like it's you. So just be careful of like who you surround yourself with over the next seven days. Um, yeah, just be careful. We also have the funnel, a period of frustration and lessons to be learned. Yeah, that's definitely Mercury retrograde. That's for sure. Um, yeah, so just, I mean, no one likes to have to stop and start all over or go back and fix something that should have been taken care of the first time around, but that's what Mercury does. Um, so just be prepared for that. Let's see what's at the bottom of each of these piles. We have the cup. It says you should accept valid criticism. Hmm. I feel like someone coming to visit you could be telling you to like, hey, you need to get yourself together. <laughs> like, you, you don't look happy. You don't look healthy. Um, what can we do to get you back to where it is you need to be Capricorns? Or it could just be you, you know, recognizing that in yourself. At the bottom of this half, we have the box. You will receive a gift. Well, that's nice. And that could be the new people or situations or opportunities coming your way um, that I saw at the bottom of the deck. So, or, you know, a surprise visit from someone. I think that would be nice too. All right, Capricorns, that is what I'm seeing for you guys this week. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog. All that info on where to find me is below in the description box, along with my website if you want to schedule a personal reading with me. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!